Um, a few thoughts that I'm having on my little deflated loaf of bread here. Good morning. We are heading out right now um, to go for a bike ride. We got our bikes all washed up. I'm putting shoes on. <laughs> we got our bikes all washed up and um, tuned up and ready to go. So we've got the bike trailer attached to the back of my bike. So typically um, my husband's working and so I take the bike trailer places uh, when he's at work, but um, we might end up switching that up because it is kind of heavy. But for today, I'm gonna have the bike trailer and Brandon's gonna have Ronan on the back of his bike and we're gonna go on a little adventure. So join us. Hi, Ronan. You ready to go for a ride? Yay! All right, how about you? I'm ready. Okay, we just got back from our bike ride and I would have more bike ride footage except uh, my battery and my camera died and my phone battery was getting pretty low. So that's actually all I have, but we are gonna play, I call like house cleaning and stuff I need to do today, but we're gonna take a break and just play some cornhole in the backyard. But first I'm gonna chop up some strawberries for the boys and uh, then head out back. So I think I'm gonna use um, the King Arthur bread, uh, or King Arthur flour um, white sandwich bread recipe to make sandwich bread. And this is perfect. I feel kind of good about this because I think, yeah, we only have like a small, a uh, little bit left of our loaf currently. So we're almost out of bread. And of course we're limiting our trips to the grocery store. So that's coming up today. I think I'm gonna do a loaf of sandwich bread. So we'll get to that, but right now, I have to do something for my son. Um, he has a little horse stuffed animal that he really likes to sleep with and it has a tear in its leg. And so I have to do some mending on Horsey, which is his, his name.
it's not all Legos and homemade bread. I do need to do work and a lot of, actually not a lot of times, but many times out of the week, um, that work is not even in the dye studio. Um, working on sweater quantity invoices, printing out invoices from shop updates, updating the website, responding to emails. Um, it, there's so much that goes into it outside of the dye studio that it's kind of just a, a very um, constantly moving thing with lots of moving parts and I love it. I love the fact that it keeps me you know, busy despite being home generally. Um, not just now, but generally. Um, yeah, so a lot goes into it. And uh, and yeah, so right now I actually am printing out invoices um, from the shop update so we can get orders packaged. And then I have a few uh, little things that I need to do, odds and ends that I need to do to update the website. Um, because this is a true, I mean, my husband is a huge help. Um, he does a lot of things to help me here behind the scenes, but it's a, a one woman business. So when you see Instagram posts or photos or the website looking the way it is, the YouTube channel looking the way it does, um, invoices, emails, all of that comes from me um, exclusively. I am the one behind all of that. If you have a question about fiber for the people yarn and you email me through the contact link, um, it comes directly to me and I respond to you. And, and this is a big part of the reason why um, I wake up really early during the week and I think I hear my little one coming in. Yeah, baby, come here. I'm not watching Choo Choo's right now. You wanna watch Choo Choo's on the big TV? And those are mommy's headphones. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's what goes into doing all of this. And like I said, I do. I love it. And it's nice to be able to do it all from the comfort of my own home. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to print out some invoices, um, things like that. And then we're going to package some orders. And then I think it'll be getting back to sandwich bread. Okay, so I am ready to make some sandwich bread, but before I do that, I need to um, prepare my yeast. So I have a jar of active dry yeast. So today when I went and picked up yeast from Target, um, I didn't realize that it was bread, ye uh, bread machine yeast, um, which from based on what I've read is essentially the same as instant yeast or rapid rise yeast, and you can use it interchangeably you know, with uh, active yeast, you just have to expect it to work a little faster. So I'll save that since I already have a jar in the refrigerator um, that is still good to go. So I'm going to use this. I need to mix it with a tablespoon of water for the recipe that I'm um, making here just to get it all, all ready to go. Um, I'm following the classic sandwich bread recipe by King Arthur Flour. I'll link to this down below as well. And I just, I looked over a few different ones and I feel like this one looked the best. Um, the Kitchen, which is another food blog, has one as well, but I felt like the bread just looked kind of crumbly and not chewy. I don't know, but I just went off of like my initial um, perception based on what the picture looked like. So it's probably delicious, but I decided to go with this um, because I liked the recipe. It's pretty straightforward. It's got five, st uh, six steps. And it gives you like tips um, on the website, things to do, um, things to remember. It's just really clear and it got really good reviews. So that's the one I'm going to do. So right now I have to mix my um, dry active yeast or active dry yeast into one tablespoon of water and let that, um, I actually don't have to let it sit. I just dissolve it into one tablespoon of water and then it's good to go. So I'm actually going to get all of my other ingredients prepped and ready to go since this isn't going to take very long. And then we'll get everything mixed up and we'll start kneading the dough and then we'll let it rise for a couple hours. And while the dough is rising, I think I'm going to edit, um, not this vlog, but the one before this, um, over on the couch, kind of relax, maybe have a cup of tea. So let's get started.
okay, we are losing light in the kitchen, um, but the bread has come out of the oven and it looks really pretty. It has kind of like a, like it looks like it's fallen in the middle. It doesn't have like a dome top. So maybe that was something I did wrong. I'll try again next time, but um, let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it does look deflated, but whatever you live and you learn. Let's see. I mean, I did everything by the time. Feels good. I mean, it might just, it might have a little too much air here in the top and it just. I kind of feel like that maybe is what happened. Okay, before I completely run out of uh, light in the kitchen, natural light, um, a few thoughts that I'm having on my little deflated loaf of bread here. Um, first of all, I don't even know if this means that I have a pro- I, I honestly, I feel like this means it overproved and kind of fell in on itself. Um, which, whatever. It smells so good though. I mean, it really smells delicious. Um, couple of things. I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants when it came to like shaping the loaf and putting it in the loaf pan. So I'm sure that has something to do with how it's going to rise in the pan. Also, I think I kind of let it rise a little too long in the pan because it looked like it started ballooning at the top a little bit more than it should have. And then also, um, and I don't know if this has anything to do with the rise, but I didn't need it long enough. Um, looking, I mean, I just, I know I didn't. I just stopped when I thought that the dough looked the way it needed to look. So I was being like really casual about this, kind of like the way I went about my herb drying, but like I got a little overconfident and now I'm learning my lesson. So um, yeah, so I'm thinking that's what happened here. A few different things. I'm gonna try it again and we're gonna use this. It's still gonna be delicious, I'm sure it's bread, um, but I will try it again and pay much more close attention to like my technique, I guess and see if I can't get a nice loaf of sandwich bread with a nice domed top. So a few things I'm thinking about. I'm a little sad that it didn't come out like I was imagining it, but um, that's okay. Uh, it'll get better in practice, <laughs> hopefully.